today we're in chapter 7 of first chronicles um interesting book i really loved it like even for me personally this book has really like it's helping me to um listen to god differently for my faith and i hope it's doing the same thing for you like um there are some books we don't uh, like quickly refer to when it comes to the bible we have our favorite um you know genesis here um, some people like Nehemiah and others like Joshua and but you know it's rare to find somebody who's like my favorite book of the Bible is First Chronicles but I think we are drawing some really healthy um, devotions and, and lessons from this book and that shows you the power of God's word. Today we're in chapter 7 and we in chapter 7 um, in chapter 6 we met Levi chapter 7 is about Isaacah from verse 1 to 6, from verse 6 uh, all the way to verse 12 is about Benjamin. We know those names. Verse 13 is about um, Naphtali. And then verse 14 all the way to 19 is about Manasseh and the descendants of Manasseh. Uh, verse 20 is about Ephraim all the way to verse 29. My interest today is the guy that we meet in verse 30 and it flows all the way to verse 40. His name is Asha. Okay. And as I said, and if you're joining us today, one thing I said is that we are not going to go into the names in a historical way. We're going to look at the chapters in a devotional way to lean in and see what can God speak to us today. And in verse 30, uh, all the way to verse 40, we meet a guy called Asha. Now I want to read for you um what is said about uh the descendants of asha in verse 40 so let's read together uh, the last verse of chapter 7 it says this all these were the descendants of asha heads of families choice men brave warriors and outstanding leaders the number of men ready for battle as listed in their genealogy was 26000 I was caught, my attention was caught by the description that is given of men in that chapter. And I wondered like, maybe today I can speak to the men who are listening to the devotion and it doesn't mean that if you're a lady, you switch off and go. But really, this is a challenge to every man who's listening to me today. Just listen to how the men of Asha were defined. They were men who are heads of families, choice men, brave warriors, outstanding leaders. A version of the Bible that I like called the Message Translation um, says this, they were responsible, excellent in character, brave in battle, good leaders. Can I say that again? Responsible, excellent in character, brave in battle, good leaders. I think this scripture does not even, I don't even need to explain but if you're a man who's listening to me, and maybe you've been looking for a model in the Bible for the kind of man you can be, listen to who these descendants were. Man, this was an outstanding definition of who they were. It's the kind of definition that makes you and I think and be like, maybe this is who I want people to say I am. That I'm responsible, I'm excellent in character, I'm brave in battle, and I'm a good leader. Wow. Listen, if you're a lady listening to me and you're looking for somebody out there, you're like, Yanni, what kind of a man should I look for? You need to put your list aside or take that list and add these qualities there. A man who's responsible, excellent in character, brave in battle, and a good leader. I think this, today I don't even want to say much because even me, I have to go back and be like, is this the kind of man that I am? Can this be said of me that Frank is responsible, he's excellent in character, he's brave in the battles that he engages in, and he's a good leader. Today I'm just going to leave it at that, man. And I hope that this challenges you to be like, Yanni, I really hope that that can be how people define me. I really hope that that's how you will define the men in your life. And men, we have a lot to rise up to. But this verse simplifies for you and I the things that we can aspire to be, the profile that we can aspire to live by. Check your character. Check your responsibility. 
check the bravery that you have in the advances that you need to make in life and in everything at home at work and in the places you step into be a good leader may god help us to become these things so we can glorify his name see you tomorrow as we enter chapter 8 bye